Alrighty, so, uh, I am extremely behind. I am actually just getting caught up right now. Um, <clears throat> episode 4, Moon Knight. Uh, new episode, episode 5 comes out actually 3 a.m. tonight. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Uh, right now it's Tuesday, 10.30 Eastern Time. Uh, so yeah, I am extremely behind. Um, reaction and review. Uh, so, gonna finally break into it before the new episode hits. I was contemplating whether or not to just streamline both or watch this one now. And well, instead of going to bed, so I'm rested for work, I'm gonna watch Moon Knight. Reaction and review. But nonetheless, special shout out to a friend, uh, Yoshi. Hey yo. Uh, Iron Fist still sucks. Controversial, uh, controversial answer for me, I know. But no, Iron Fist is garbage, and they fixed that because we got Shang Chi out of it. So, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. So aside from that special shout out, uh, jumping in, and we'll go from there. <sighs> so getting messy this late night. Don't mind my tea, I'm kind of losing my voice, so. But yeah. So we're going to start with the camera upside down. What, what is this? Interrogation? An interrogation? <laughs> Just carrying a Egyptian statue. Are those like imprisoned gods? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> That's a weird way to begin the episode. Just passed out in the desert. I can only imagine it's probably freezing cold out there. And now someone's coming out for them.
You leave the wifey alone. Well, at least she's smart and she's hiding. But not a lot of places to hide, unfortunately. He does look like he's dead, that's for sure. <laughs> he might not be dead or what, but yeah. Jesus Christ, 50 cal. It's a bit overkill, don't you think? That works. <laughs> and he's just standing there. She's a badass. She is a badass. What would he do without her? Ugh. Uh, Steven and Mark making deals about Layla, and Layla's kind of stuck in their life. <laughs> and he disappeared, right? Mm -hmm. It's just you and me in the open road. Nope, we're walking. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look um, creepy or anything. Uh, no. Going through a canyon, barefoot to God knows what, and Hero is somewhere beyond. Yeah. Mark would be helpful, but unfortunately they do have a lot of issues back and forth. It's a goat! But is that really Ahmed's tomb? Or are they digging something else up by accident? Unknowingly. The dig site's kind of empty. Looks a little desolate. Be too quiet. Uh, 
Word of the day, Blanca. Uh, one body, two personalities, and same wife. And they're fighting. Couples counseling, I think. <laughs> what was that on the ground? Oh, the adventure. Break the mood of the kiss. And he goes in for the kiss. Mark's gonna throw him off a cliff. <laughs> Both of them. Uh, is that Mark who just punched them? Something just happened. I'm aces. I mean, I don't want to look at you. She's nerding out so much, it's great. Yeah. I'd shit myself, but I'd be through. <laughs> So either something's already happened, or they're gonna walk or run into a trap. Cause it's way too quiet. Dude, they were shooting at something. Something happened. Definitely too quiet. to the lure. <laughs> but the avatar would be Amit's voice, but the question is, is that Amit that they're gonna find or is that something else? Because like she said, they were shooting at something. And they haven't found a single body or any of Harold's guys.
Fresh blood. Yeah, something happened. I think here those guys ran into a fight. Theoretically, Ahmed is down. <laughs> the He's getting carried away. Something's going on. Gunfire! More avatars? People fighting avatars? It's like a horror film. It's going after him now. He took it out? I don't know if it's out out though. If he took it out, I don't think he'll be chasing her, but who really knows? It's like Indiana Jones. She's gonna have to get across. Ooh, the footholds are falling apart. Not the safest route, but I don't know if she's got much of a choice at this point. <clears throat> There goes the previous foothold. And it's crawling behind the walls. That's creepy. Oh. That's horrifying. She took its arm off. Well, she is a fighter, that's for sure. But that, that thing I think might be unusually strong. She just put a flare in his face. Is that the same one that he dropped the, the stuff on or is that a different one though? Is that hero? Yep, that's hero. Is that the end of the tunnel?
Macedonian, only pharaoh that called himself Egyptian. Who? Long lost tomb of Alexander the Great. Okay. That's a twist. So is Alexander the Great an avatar? Steers do not lie. I'm guessing that Mark killed her father. So, Alexander the Great, Avatar of Amen, and then Entombed. Inside the mummy, <laughs> that you shove these hat hidden in the mummy. Uh... <laughs> in the mouth. Sorry, Mr. Great. <laughs> Ugh, fabric ribbon. Desecrating the body. The... <laughs> Mark's just like, yeah, just reach in there. He's still reaching into the mouth. I found it after reaching in into the body of Alexander the Great via his mouth. <laughs> no, I don't think Alexander can hear you. <laughs> Geez, heroes really getting into the brains. Just messing with their heads. Did she take the scare? Uh, not the scare. I think she took the piece. Who are these people? Rosser. 
<laughs> You're Dr. Steven Gray. So is this the afterlife? <laughs> Afterlife or a psych ward or something. Something's going on. He's a moment twin figure. <laughs> Arthur is the shrink. Arthur Hero. Tomb Buster. <laughs> Quite the wound parody jump. Mark on Pharaoh. <laughs> the sedatives are wearing off. Pharaoh's tomb? Yeah, something's going on. I'm pretty sure they're in limbo or something. They're in limbo or something. I think they're borderline dead. I mean, they got shot. <laughs> they're so happy to see each other. Is that a mental break? Another tune. Another sarcophagus? What, are these just like rooms full of sarcophaguses? It's a hippo. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's how it ends. Hi. <laughs> okay, that entire end sequence just got very trippy. Okay, um, overall comparison, um, between the previous episodes, well, yeah, I, I guess the last two, you know, less action, a lot more story driven, just a lot more psychological, more horror, kind of, especially with, um, with Layla being chased by that mummy thing, that, um, mummy guardian, but, um, a lot more psychological, especially with the mind games that Harold was playing with them. And then that end sequence with the whole shrink ward and everything, and the two of them, very psychological. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a stretch and say that they're kind of in limbo, because like both of them said, last thing they remember was Harold shooting them. So conceptually, I, 
I don't know if I would say that he's dead, but I think he might be in some like non-living world. <laughs> Because conceptually he is the avatar, so for a uh, country, so who knows what that's gonna entail? But yeah. So um, yeah. They still don't really. They still haven't really identified what's going on in the tomb because I mean, apparently it was Alexander the Great's tomb the Macedonian, um, supposedly a previous avatar, which they're saying that was the avatar of, uh, oh, I need to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of layers to divulge, and um, this is episode four, so two more episodes for the rest of the season, I believe it was a run of six. So yeah, um, definitely intrigued to see what happens in the episode that drops tonight, well, tomorrow, but yeah, enjoyed it. All the episodes have kind of been varying different paces, different wavelengths, but they're all adding up and it's all good. And this series so far has been amazing, so we'll see what happens in the next one. Alright, well, that's all that I got for tonight, so, uh, stay beautiful.